providing we don't hurt anybody doing this. This was the scene when the skinheads met the greasers on neutral territory, Chelmsford Civic Centre. Well, we'd had trouble in the town two Saturday nights with these uh, opposing people who call themselves skinheads and greasers. And uh, obviously, as the mayor of the town, I want to see peace and law and order for the sake of the citizens and the sake of the good name of the town. Mm. And I feel when humans do anything abnormal or subnormal, there is a reason for this. Social, economic, medical or something. There is a reason. And until you've found the reason, you're not going to be able to do much about it. You can punish them, you can arrest them, do all kinds of things by punitive measures, but this is not quite the answer. We still have to find out how these people who do these things take over. Well, it seems to me, I went into town on Saturday night and went straight into the crowd of them there and tried an informal talk on the pavements, inviting them here, of course, as well. And the reasons expressed to me were that they were frustrated, that they had nowhere to go. This was the common comment, nowhere to go. We have no place to go. Now, we have a lot of places in Chelmsford for young people to go. We have several discotheques, we have several youth centres. But there is always, it seems to me, a group of people considerable percentage of people who do not quite conform to what we call the respectable. They're not people who we would term as delinquents, they're individuals in many cases, they're sometimes a little eccentric, but this we've always had and we must always have these kind of people. Now it seems to me that in the adolescent stage when you get this kind of thing, unless you can cater for them, they're going to form themselves into an aggressive, truculent group. And they, oh, how many discotheques have we got? How many have we got? One. Maybe two. So, I mean, I mean, taking into account those that the skinhead Jews, how many have we got, including those the skinhead Jews? <laughs> two. Well, there's only two in town. No? There's only, only two, two in discotheques town. in town. Uh, to separate yourselves from other people yeah, right. who are in trouble, who are making nuisance on themselves, is wrong. You've got to get in and involved with them, get inside these people, get inside them, understand them. And having understood them, then you can do something about it. But to stand apart and say, no, I am the mayor, therefore I am not going on the pavement to talk to them, or I am the president, I am therefore not going to mix with the common people, is setting up the barriers that cause the trouble between man and man and nation and nation. About 40 years ago, it was very fashionable to have a crew cut, and I had mine cut like that. We want more amenities, bowling alleys, and megas and such like, you know, discotheques. I've heard a lot.